This is the QMIS guide in Saudi Aramco. How to operate QMIS. How to use QMIS in Saudi uh, Aramco. There's a logo QMIS, the quality management information system. The user, the role, contractor, the change password, change role, logout that is below the QMIS uh, logo after you uh, log in here is the guide how to operate QMIS sign in with your uh, Aramco email uh, ID after you sign in with your uh, Aramco email ID you have to open the web page the desktop which is the outlook office.com you, you click that uh, uh, button then uh, you type the QMIS link provided by your PMT the tracking link QMIS version 2 or version 3 then after you log in using your username and your password it will uh, it will come it will come here in the uh, upper left corner in this in this white uh, corner uh, white box your name of users then you can send RFI how to send RFI okay left upper corner there is a name of user initiator filled up initiate or RFI number contractor reference number for example here is the for example here the project number what is your project number see here the project number then the contractor reference RFI reference number for example uh, 001 mechanical 002 civil 03 for example here it, you, you can see in this in this in this box contractor RFI reference number then the plant ID which plant you are uh, working it it which plant uh, your inspections okay there is a number in your uh, drawing then uh, here the discipline also discipline what is the category the discipline uh, the discipline uh, same like uh, for uh, civil, for mechanical, ele electrical, or instrumentation, or plumbing. Uh, then you follow this uh, order, chronological order, the engineering index. If you open the, in if you click the engineering index, there is a static number. It depends to your uh, so, uh, size. Uh, Satip number, I mean, then the Satip reference number, then choose, you have to click. Then after you click, automatically input all the Satip title, Saik title, uh, Satip title, Saik title, Isaudu Aramco, uh, inspection checklist, it will come there, and also the contractor inspection level, automatically it will open. Then after you input, after you input all of this, then you go to the calendar, the calendar schedule. Here is the schedule of inspection date. What you have to choose to click only the day, month, and year. Then after that, you have to change also the schedule of inspection of time what, what time you need to inspect <laughs> then also you have to oh, click in the equipment ID this equipment ID uh, for example uh, what is uh, equipment you have to inspect like this then th there is a continuation of sending RFI by QMIS the descriptions okay the descriptions here okay uh, location descrip location description 
the description, electrical or civil, mechanical instrumentations. Then your RFI uh, description. In RFI description, for example, inspection for uh, uh, waterproofing material or inspection of uh, of uh, pipe can do it like that. All here given to your RFI descriptions and where is the location for example the location in the uh, inspection for for example inspection for the uh, cables at in cable tray uh, like that the uh, at pipe rack uh, cable tray number all it will be uh, must be uh, complete where exact locations Okay, then you have to go to the layout drawings. Okay, the layout drawings, what is the drawing number that you are sending because you need to attach to your uh, uh, inspection request to your uh, RFI. So, then there is a revision number. Also click that one, revision number location description RFI description SAPID uh, then after that you have to go to the SAPI ID reference email to whom you want to send your RFI and after you completed you have to go how to print okay uh, you come back to uh, that um, below that uh, QMIS here okay below the QMIS here is the change rule okay you have to click that one this this one change rule okay then uh, go to your inbox after uh, go to the inbox you have to click then search your save uh, file that you input you been input then uh, print and then and if you want to edit for example you want to edit also your RFI just uh, but in fast edit you have just copy your RFI number that you input uh, the previous then you have to paste to the current uh, uh, RFI that you need to edit be sure it is in correct uh, sequence not to be duplicated because sometimes if you uh, if you not change the RFI number the sequence of your uh, RFI that you send from the previous it will become uh, complicated so it's easy to make a copy only then just paste then you have to uh, after that you change then you have to edit all what you want uh, like uh, you come back again to here to the to this section you need to edit here for example here in the plant ID the SATI then if you need to send again another RFI only just to save you change the SATI number uh, for example the previous one is uh, civil then you have to change only for example you send now to mechanical you change only the SATI number then again you have to input all everything is there you have to complete all the datas then after that the same procedure then then after you uh, ed edit the RFI you have to save after save then you you print it again okay thank you hope that I can uh, help you
and uh, be proud you are the quality uh, inspectors